Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Kelly. I am an English teacher here at Bishop Fian High School. Uh, today I'm going to take you through a short presentation about academic integrity and plagiarism. Uh, first, an introduction to myself. Uh, this is gonna be my 10th year here at Bishop Fian. I teach AP language and composition, American literature, and SAT prep. I also run the SAT summer program uh, in August. Other things that I've been involved in at the school, uh, I helped relaunch the school's literary magazine. So if you write poems or short stories, uh, definitely check that out. Right now it's being run uh, by Mrs. Willis and Mrs. Tyler. Um, I guess a fun fact about myself is that I've been teaching here so long that uh, my some of my first students are now coming back to teach at Fian as well. Uh, so who knows, maybe I'll see you again like eight years from now uh, as one of the faculty. If you see me looking tired at all this year, uh, it's probably because of these two. Uh, I have two sons, Luke and Connor, uh, who keep me very busy. They are not in the house right now. Uh, as I'm recording this, but if you hear any shouting and I get tackled from off screen, then you'll know that they got home. So welcome to Fian. Uh, we're very excited to have you here. Uh, Fian is a very special place. You're gonna have a lot of time to uh, explore things. Uh, the biggest piece of advice I could give you is just be generous to yourself. You know, think about how long, uh, if you went to a different middle school, uh, than an elementary school, it takes you a little bit of time to feel comfortable there. Uh, and so just be generous. Remember that uh, it, it doesn't always happen right away. You know, give yourself some time to get to know people, to get to know the school, uh, and get involved in different things that you're interested in. Uh, obviously, we're facing a lot of question marks right now about uh, what school is exactly going to look like in the fall and, and, and what we're going to be doing here as a society as a whole. Um, so just take it one day at a time. And the other big piece of advice I would give you is if you need help, ask for help. All your teachers are going to be ready to help you. Uh, just you have to let us know. So as long as you ask, then we'll be able to do whatever we can for you. And also, our, you, you know, we had some practice uh, last spring, as I'm sure you did as well. Uh, teaching a little bit differently. Uh, but a lot of things about this are new to us as well. So, you know, you're going to be learning right along with us. Specifically, uh, the topic today is uh, academic integrity. Um, it's not fun for me to talk about this or, or for any other English teachers to talk about this, but uh, even though there's so many more positive, exciting things about FIAN, uh, that we'd rather talk about, this is a very important one. Uh, since we started talking about academic integrity during Freshman Academy, uh, the, the number of freshmen who've run into problems and, and discipline issues during their freshman year uh, has dropped a bunch. So I'll try to go through this relatively quickly. I just ask you, please pay attention. Uh, it could really help you out later on in the fall. And so what is plagiarism? According to our handbook, plagiarism occurs when a student intentionally or unintentionally fails to acknowledge all materials quoted, paraphrased, or summarized from any published or unpublished work. That is from our student handbook. Uh, and there's four essential three-word phrases that I'd like you to focus on here. Number one is that intentionally or unintentionally. And so you can't say, if you get called into the assistant principal's office with your teacher to talk about plagiarism or cheating, uh, I didn't know is not an acceptable uh, defense or excuse here. Uh, you're responsible for making sure that you don't plagiarize. And so, uh, again, that's why we're, we're talking to you now. Uh, and your, your freshman year teacher will go over this as well. Uh, so please make sure, again, that we're paying attention, not just to, to this presentation here, but in the fall when your teacher goes over citations and, and things like that, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure you're taking notes there. 
You don't have to take notes right now. This is just our introduction. If you really want to, I'm not going to stop you. But mostly I'd say, as long as you're listening, that's good. Uh, second phrase, fails to acknowledge. And this is really the most important part of plagiarism. All you need to do to make sure that you don't plagiarize is give credit to other people for their thoughts. If you didn't think of it, if you didn't say it originally, then just give credit to whoever did. And if you do that, you'll be fine. Uh, sometimes a teacher will ask you, like, what are your own thoughts on this issue? In that case, you don't want to use any sources at all. But if it's anything, if it's, you know, a paper that, that's asking you to, to write about any given topic, as long as you cite your sources, you're fine. Just never, this is about avoiding the impression uh, that, that someone that you took someone else's work and is passing it off as your own so as long as we acknowledge where other things are coming from you'll do great uh quoted paraphrased or summarized is a big one uh this is one of the biggest ones because a lot of kids will protest and say it can't be plagiarism i changed the words um and that is still plagiarism if you take someone's idea and change the words or summarize it or rewrite it uh, that is still plagiarism if you don't give them credit uh, for that idea. And then lastly, published or unpublished. So even if it's if it's something on the internet, I think most people know if you just copy paste something from the internet that that would be plagiarism. But it's the same whether it's published or unpublished. If it's from another student's paper, uh, then that is still plagiarism. What are the consequences? I'm not going to take too long on this, but just. I want to make sure everyone's aware. Uh, your first offense, you'll get a zero on the assignment. Your parents will be notified. Uh, you'll serve a Saturday detention, and you are ineligible for the honor roll. The second offense, you could also get suspended. Uh, and then the third offense, you could be uh, expelled. Why is this such a big deal? We're going to talk about that later. Um, one other tool that we use is turnitin.com. Some of you might have used this in, in eighth grade or in junior high. Uh, you'll all probably use it uh, in college. Uh, but turnitin.com is a website that we use where you will submit your papers to turnitin.com and then that website will compare them against its own database of papers uh, and online websites, articles, papers, etc. This is a tool uh, that we use. If you are anything like uh, my students who I talked to at the beginning of the year about this, uh, you are freaking out right now. If, well, some of you are. Some of you are probably not. And that's good because you shouldn't be freaking out right now. Um, this is not something that you need to get nervous about. As long as you are actively making sure that you're not plagiarizing, you will be fine. The odds of you getting a false positive on turnitin.com are astronomical. It's not something you need to worry about as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do and giving credit to other people for their thoughts. If you're doing that, you're going to be fine. Uh, but let's go over some of the most common ways that people do plagiarize and then how to avoid them. Uh, again, if you're aware of these things, and you make sure you're not doing them, you're good. So number one, it would be unintentional or... Uh, careless plagiarism. You start to paraphrase something, but you use basically the exact same words and you don't use quotation marks. That's a mistake uh, that winds up being plagiarism. So you want to make sure if you're using exact words, use quotation marks there. Uh, and then you could also have errors with quotation marks or citations. Your teachers will probably work uh, with you on this and teach you how to use these things. And they're there for, to answer your question. So if you're ever not sure, ask your teacher. That's what we're there for. And then the second type of plagiarism uh, is the intentional kind. Uh, this is where we get into the, you know, before the movie, at the movie theater, they have like the guy, back when we used to go to movies, uh, they have the guy in like the hooded sweatshirt and he's like wearing sunglasses and filming the movie screen. This is this kind of plagiarism, right? Uh, where you're copy pasting words, sentences, entire papers, uh, and you just put it in and submit it as your own work, or you steal ideas or copy ideas from somebody else or copy somebody else's homework. Um, this is a little bit more direct. Uh, and so obviously that is not uh, allowed either. 
So quick example of this uh, from one of my favorite books, Lord of the Rings. This is from the Fellowship of the Ring to specify for any fellow nerds out there. Uh, a bad example of trying to cite something here would be Sam tells Frodo that it's the job that has never started takes the longest to finish. This is almost exactly the original quote. So we need quotation marks here. The good example would be this. Sam tells Frodo, quote, it's the job that's never started. It takes longest to finish. And then we have our citation here as well. In MLA format, you have the author's last name, the space, no comma, and then the page number. And so it's quoted because it's an exact quote. We have our author's last name and the page number. And then in, you'd have a work cited at the end of your paper uh, that would have the longer entry, the author's name, the title, publisher, date, et cetera. Very briefly, why does this matter? Uh, so obviously it's against the school rules, which is one reason, but even beyond that, um, <clears throat> one of the biggest reasons that plagiarism matters, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, one of the biggest reasons that plagiarism matters is because it's it's giving you a shortcut that it's, it's going against the whole reason you're here. Your brain is, is a muscle and in high school and in college, you're gonna be, putting your brain through different workouts. Read this Shakespeare, do this math, study this science, learn about this history thing. It's not about filling your brain with information. It's about helping your brain get better at processing and acting and thinking and reflecting. As you continue to grow, you're gonna do those things more and more and more. Well, if you skip that practice, if you cheat your way through high school, cheat your way through college, what are you gonna do after college, is that the plan for the rest of your life? I guess some people could get away with it, but most people wind up you know, failing, either in high school or college or, or just after. Um, and so taking shortcuts, it's not a great way to go. And this is the, the, specifically for plagiarism, the biggest piece of advice I would give you is that if you are stressed out and you're gonna make a bad choice, talk to your teacher instead. Reach out to them and explain what's going on. It is better to take some points off for submitting something late than to get a zero uh, and to wind up in the assistant principal's office. The second reason that plagiarism matters is because ideas matter. Uh, people can spend years thinking up, uh, you know, authors for different story, historians, scientists, mathematicians, philosophers, theologians, whatever field you're interested in, people put a lot of work into compiling their ideas and developing their ideas. The ownership of ideas matters. And we wanna show that respect for someone else if we're using an idea that they came up with or a sentence or a phrase or, or a longer passage or whatever it is. Uh, most high schools and colleges around the world have rules about plagiarism because your thinking matters. If you think up something that is original to you then other people should have to recognize that. And then even if these other things I've talked about, like ethics and intellectual ownership of ideas and you know, the value of your own education and what it's for don't matter to you, uh, at least you know, keep your self-interest in mind. Uh, Bishop Fian takes academic integrity and plagiarism very seriously. And one of the biggest reasons we do, in addition to the other things that I've talked about here, uh, and ethics, obviously, uh, is because we want to make sure you're ready because the rest of the world takes it seriously too. Uh, just a couple of examples from some different colleges here. Uh, Bowdoin and MIT, very serious language on their websites about plagiarism. Minimum for a college, you'll probably wind up failing the course and having to pay a few thousand dollars at least to retake it. Um, you could also get uh, suspended, expelled, Colleges take this very seriously, and we want to make sure you're ready for that. Uh, look up any college you're interested in. Go to their academic integrity page. You're going to see something similar. It's universal. <clears throat> and so, again, very simply, how do we avoid these things? Did you know it before you started writing? If not, make sure you cite your source where you got it from. Uh, if you're not sure if you should cite it or not, then cite it. Can't go wrong. 
Uh, and then to double check to make sure you're using things correctly, uh, websites like Purdue Owl uh, or the Bishop Fiend Style Guide uh, can help you there as well. Or like I said, just check with your teacher. The next thing we're gonna do to sort of put some of this things, the things we've discussed here uh, in practice a bit uh, are to look at a few scenarios uh, of academic integrity and plagiarism issues in small groups. So your teachers are gonna break you up into smaller groups. You'll be able to discuss those things uh, to debate whether these different scenarios are issues with academic uh, integrity, whether it's plagiarism or not. Uh, so thank you guys very much. I look forward to seeing you all. At, and of course I have my sources. I can't plagiarize the plagiarism presentation. That would be ironic. Anyways, uh, looking forward to meeting you all and I'll see you in a week or so, I guess, because I'm recording this a week ago. All right, bye everybody.